Hi and Assalamu alaikum to all my respective audience. My name is Dr. Nozadi Ifa Beti Hussein. Uh, I am a tourism lecturer at uh, University of Malaysia, Trungganu. Uh, it will be my pleasure to share my research finding on the benefit segmentation of domestic tourism in Kuala Trungganu. Before I elaborate, uh, let me tell you the problem that Trungganu is facing right now. Uh, previously, Trungganu tourism heavily depends on its island and nature tourism. However, starting from 2010, the state has started to recognize the importance of promoting other tourism products such as the inland attraction due to the allocation of 62% of undecided group of tourists who are not into island, ecotourism or nature. Uh, with the state objective in making tourism as their second income of the oil and gas due to the price fluctuation and depletion, thus it is important for the study to first uh, investigate the segment of domestic tourists that attracted to Kuala second, to identify the benefits sort of activities that domestic uh, tourists search while in Kuala Now, let's proceed to literature review. What is segmentation? Uh, why is it important? And why do I choose benefit segmentation compared to other segmentation? Market segmentation is a process of dividing a heterogeneous group into a smaller and homogeneous segment. There needs to be customer-centered and due to the concept where no single market offering will satisfy all individuals. Even though there have been some argument regarding the superiority of some segmentation over the other, which means there is no single idea segmentation that fit every situation, yet some authors suggest differently. Authors such as Park and Jung uh, pointed out that the most uh, effective predictor, predictor of tourist behavior should be the behavior itself, including benefit and motivation. The rationale behind this segmentation approach is that it's able to categorize stories by benefits sought, which were the primary source of purchasing behavior. Benefit segmentation also assists the marketers to identify each tourist profile more accurately than other descriptive variables such as geographical, demographical, psychographical, and, and others. By accurately defining the benefit segmentation, marketer can identify tourist motivation and satisfaction through creating a specific product that able to fulfill the benefit that the tourist required. The product features that represent the tourist benefit also will create high value. In terms of methodology, the sample was limited to um, limited to traveler who visited Trunganu for the purpose of holiday. A uh, self-administrated questionnaire was designed to collect data for this study and screening questions were used to meet the correct respondent fill out the survey. Participants were, uh, were selected using the random uh, sampling technique and the questionnaire was divided into three parts which is the first part uh, is all about uh, the benefit that the tourists seek while in Kuala The second part is a, consists of questions on activities tourists engage in. And finally, uh, is explore demographic profile of the tourists. A reliable test and descriptive analysis, factor analysis, and, NV, and uh, ANOVA were performed using SPSS version 18. On the whole, based on the result from the study, the domestic traveler characteristic shows that most travelers are from young age between 20 to 29 years old, mostly are students, which explain the selection of accommodation is homestay instead of hotel, and they spend lesser while traveling due to the financial constraint. By identifying this young traveler characteristic, it's important for Kuala Trungganu to ensure that the marketing mix design precisely match the needs of these young travelers. The result of the study will assist state planners and tourism entrepreneurs to determine the suitable marketing mix strategy that enhance the cultural attraction and the sustainability on receiving new and repeat travelers. That's all for me. Thank you.